I don't know if uh, we'll do any tonight. I don't know if he'll record us. If he'll want to record us playing the, the Ouija circuit if he wants to get that up and running. But uh, I don't even know if I'll want to. I might just want to enjoy hanging out and not record. No, I don't want to record everything in life, but it's nice to have some memories on video. So this, uh, what, all, what I also got my mom is a $35 gift card to get her nails done. Uh, not, at a nail, uh, not at a salon she normally goes to because they were closed. They've been closed like since the 21st for whatever reason. They decided to take like a whole week or two off. So... Um, you know, and I didn't get paid until the other day. I didn't, you know, I didn't really have a lot of Christmas spending money until that point. So, I got her one at a different place, and I also got it for my aunt, so they can go together and get their nails done. And I hope that's enough to get things done, or you know, it's at least uh, going to be a majority of what they'll have to pay or whatever. And I don't even know what this is, but they were giving these out there, so I don't know if this is like nail polish or perfume or what. But uh, I'm just going to throw this in the bag with it, so. Now this is the most expensive thing that I got my mom this year. And it's kind of a random gift. And I, I got an extra COVID bonus uh, on this paycheck that I wasn't expecting. And nobody talked about it. It just kind of appeared on the check. But this is a Fitbit Versa 3. So this is like the newest, most expensive Fitbit. I don't know a lot about these. I know that they're really popular. People are crazy about them, whatever. And, uh... Anyway, my aunt recently got my mom a smartphone. My aunt gave my mom her old phone. Like I said, my mom's not very technologically savvy, so, you know, I said advanced, which doesn't make sense, but I'm savvy or whatever, you know what I'm saying. Well, she's been learning how to answer it and stuff, so hopefully she's going to learn some things. But anyway, like I said, I came across extra money, so I knew I was going to get some extra gifts with it. And I don't really know how this came about. Like I said, part of it's because my aunt got my mom a smartphone. Because this kind of syncs with your phone, so... I don't know if she wouldn't have really been able to... I don't know if she would have been able to use it to its potential beforehand. And hopefully my mom will use this. I'm, I'm sure that she'll wear it. I'm sure that she'll like it. At least even to check the time, if nothing else, which... You know, I could have just got her a cheap watch if that's the case, but hopefully she'll use it for some of the other features. But, uh, since I work at Walmart and I, uh, they've been wanting me to use a walkie-talkie lately so they can call me if they need me. I'm glad this tape has lasted, hallelujah. There was more tape than I thought. I thought it felt like it was running out at one point. Looks like it's going to make it. Anyway. The customer asked if we had any Fitbits in store. And they were like, yeah, we've got some. And I don't know if that was when it kind of clicked in my mind. I also remember reading online someone talking about a Fitbit lately. They were talking about how the Fitbit community is like a cult community. <laughs> so the Fitbit's really for people that are exercising and stuff. Um... It keeps track of how many steps you take and stuff like that. You can check like your heart rate, which I think my mom will, might appreciate that stuff. Um, she's not you know, really into exercising and stuff, but being able to see how many steps she's taken when she goes out to the store or whatever. And she likes to ride on her bicycle, um, her exercise bike. And so being able to check her heart rate and stuff I think that she'll like that, you know, if we can figure out those features, I'm sure that she'll like the time, I'm sure she'll like that it's new and it's fancy and it's a watch and stuff, and she'll, you know, I'm sure that she'll appreciate it no matter what, but it also has Alexa enabled, so she can use some features with that. Um, I also think with her new smartphone, 
Um, it should notify her when she gets messages, and that could be helpful for her. Um, so, hopefully it's not going to be too complicated, and she can understand how to use it. Uh, it is the most expensive gift that I bought. So, you know, it's just kind of weird that like all these gifts that I got are like tiny, so. Anyway, that's that. So I'm putting that in the bottom. I want her to open that last. I want her to open the camera first because she might want to take pictures of me opening gifts that she got me or whatever else. So I want her to have the camera first. I want her to open that before I open any gifts or anything else. These are all going to get stacked in there. I don't really care what order she opens the others, but the big one has to go first. So there is that. That's my mom's Christmas. Um, on top of the nail gift card, I also got her an hour-long massage gift card. So, I've always wanted to buy a massage for my mom. Hopefully she'll enjoy it. Now what sucks is that I was going to buy an hour-long massage for my aunt, too. And uh, no massage place in Macomb had like two massage therapists or like two tables or whatever to where they could both go and get a massage at the same time, which would be nice, right? Because it's kind of stupid if I get them both an hour and one has to wait on the other. Well, there were multiple places, but one of the places that I called, like this Asian massage place, they were kind of... She didn't even really speak English that well, but she was like, you know, I was asking how late they were going to be open, and they are supposed to be open until like 3, I got off work at 1. Like I said, it was like an hour of drive or whatever. So, you know, it took me less time than that, you know, I'm going like as fast as I can, I'm not speeding, you know, like, really fast, but I'm, I'm getting, I'm flying, you know, to, to Macomb. I got there in good time, and I called them, and you know, I'm like, where are you located at? And I wanted to make sure that they were still there because they were being like kind of shoddy, like they didn't know like how late they were going to be open. It's like, uh, how do you not know like how late you're going to be open? Well, I called there and they're like, uh, she's like, let me see if she's still there. I'm like, okay, so the number that I called isn't like the number of the, the place or, you know, so it starts becoming like more and more shady. And she's like, oh, she's like went home, like she won't be there until like tomorrow morning, like she'll be open tomorrow, you know. And so at that point, I'm like, okay. Well, I didn't know if Walmart was going to have the Memorial Circuit thing uh, for my cousin. So I kind of didn't know how much money I was going to be spending. If I didn't get that for him, maybe I was going to get a game, which was going to be cheaper. And so I also, you know, I don't know what's available. I don't know who's open. I don't know, you know how much money I'm going to be spending, and I'm like limited, I'm limited on time, I'm limited on money, I'm, you know, so, I'm limited on options of what's available. So, anyways, long story short, I guess I just said screw that, and I just have to get the gift card for my mom, so I'm going to have to just take her someday, or her friend's going to have to take her, somebody's going to have to take her and drop her off, and hopefully she'll do that, and she'll enjoy it, I mean... Wouldn't anybody like an hour-long massage? I mean, hopefully, you know, I could use one, so <laughs> hopefully uh, she'll do that and enjoy it. And, you know, I'll get her more, and, and I could get my aunt one in the future, and there could be more opportunities. So at least I know now, you know, I kind of, I've always wanted to do this, and now I've done it. So, <clears throat> more ideas for the future. I had a lot of other ideas of what I wanted to get my cousin and different people. So for my aunt, I got her the, the nail thing. And for my uncle, I got him a gift card for Domino's because I know he likes that. When we hang out for wrestling pay-per-views and stuff, he, he likes to go to Domino's. So I got Jack, my mom's friend, the Casey's gift card, the gas station. He can get coffee there. He can get gas, you know, whatever. I'm sure that he'll like that. He'll use that. So, I got some people that I work with gift cards, I got some other people some gifts. Um, I'm sure I definitely spent over a grand on this Christmas, but, uh, uh, 
I don't know. It's probably around that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'd gladly spend more. It doesn't matter. Um, but I've got everything wrapped up. I'm just I'm happy that... Yeah, my cousin, thinking of, I was thinking about getting him a Mario All-Stars game for the Switch. Which has uh, three older Mario games that I know he's already played and beat, but it's kind of like a collector's item. So I was like, you know, I give him a game that's like he's already beaten. Like he, I know he would enjoy it. He'd be glad to have it. He'd probably beat him again. But you know, it's like, eh, what kind of a gift is that? Uh, this is totally something new, something unexpected, and something fun and something different that he won't expect. So. I've also thought about getting him the uh, the Ring Fit Adventure because you know he played that with me over here. I know he really likes that. He'll probably want to get that at some point. Um, I just don't think that he was really ever going to want to throw down the money on this. So me getting him for, getting it for him, you know, I think that's a cool thing. So um, also. Thought about getting him Cyberpunk because uh, I know he's been wanting to play that, but he's heard that's glitchy and stuff, and he's saying he wants to wait until the PS5. And you know, but I didn't want to give him something that he might not enjoy or whatever. You know, he might be like, "Well, I didn't really want this." So, but you know, could always just get him a, a gift card or whatever. But I like to, you know, sometimes like get gifts for people instead of just gift cards. Um, some of these people, you know, some, some gifts, you know, I had to get gift cards for, as, you know, just kind of a thought, but I really like to be like a gift giver and buy like the actual gifts and surprise people with, you know, something that they've wanted or something that they've needed, like, you know, something they can really use, maybe something that they didn't really know that they really wanted or needed, but, you know. I, I give it a shot. So, anyways, thank God this is done. So the only part that is left is giving these out, going out, hanging out with my mom. I'm gonna record us opening them and stuff, and we're gonna get something good to eat, and probably, hopefully, hang out with my cousin. We're gonna watch some movies with my mom. I've already got some Christmas movies picked out. I don't know. Well, I know last year we did not watch Christmas Vacation. And usually that's like a movie like people watch every year and stuff, or Home Alone, but I didn't watch Christmas Vacation last year, so we're definitely going to watch that. <laughs> it feels like it's been a while since I've sat and watched it, so. I grabbed some other random stuff that I've got. Frosty the Snowman, <laughs> the original. Batman Returns, a Christmas movie, but, uh, yeah. Might watch that, I don't know. I just got some ideas. There's lots of other movies we could watch. I grabbed Edward Scissorhands. That kind of happens during Christmas, too. I got Eight Crazy Nights with Adam Sandler. I was going to watch that, but it's got, like, terrible reviews. So I might not watch that. <laughs> And then I've got Miracle on 34th Street. I've never actually sat and watched this. I took it to Mom's last year, and then we never watched it. So maybe I'll watch it. I know it's a classic. I need to watch it. So anyways, that's it. Christmas on 2020. Oh my God. Let's get this year over with. Good Lord.